as it was. But I had to speak to the mountain and realize that God is the mender of our souls. Yes, and you know, this is so, so true. And apropos, people are, they're hurting emotionally themselves yes. and they're becoming depressed. You know, yes. some people aren't there, but I know that it can take a toll on many if you're in the house every yes. single day. Monies are really not coming in for some families. They've yeah. lost their jobs or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever the reason might be. But the yeah. thing is, is that they're emotionally distraught and have yeah. been emptied and they don't know how to survive. They want to give up. Suicide yeah. comes to mind, yes. you know, and this is the whole thing, you know, Dr. Potts. And my heart goes out to you because, the, you know, being leaders and being in leadership, people don't realize that leaders are people. Too. And they have feelings. Yeah, I don't know. Look. God, mm -hmm. hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and continually to praise him and lift him up. I just thank you for coming on this evening um, to a Godly Woman's View conference. And I, the Lord is in this place and in our midst already. And I'm expecting God. Can somebody just say, I expect God. I expect oh, God. I, God. I don't know what he's going to do, but whatever he's going to do, I expect it. <laughs> God bless you. I see Overseer yeah. Loretta Douglas, Evangelist Beverly Levy, and our pastor, Apostle Gwendolyn Prelo. God bless all of y'all. But listen, we're going to turn our psalmist loose tonight. And we just want, we want you to get involved and, and, and just praise and worship along with her. Um, this is Psalmist Miranda Simpson. She's from Trinidad and she is in the States. Praise God. But I just love her. She has such a beautiful spirit. <clears throat> God bless you, Psalm Miranda Simpson. Glory to God. Glory to God. One more time. It's such Amen. a blessing and Hallelujah. honor to be one more time into the house in the house of the Lord with all you beautiful women here. Glory Whoa. to God. <laughs> and I have the privilege of saying I'm beautiful too. Shababa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. <you> <laughs> Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Glory to God. I'm I'm glad to be part of the number tonight. Hallelujah. Yeah. And because God has been faithful, because God has been good to us, we can lift up our hands of praise. We can lift up our voice in adoration to the God of our salvation. One more time as we worship him together tonight. And we can say, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, we can oh, say, oh, God, yes, be Lord. the glory. Yes, Great Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come and draw near to the Lamb and throne in majesty. Bless his name. 
Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lamb of God. Stand again. 
one can. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. No one. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Victory, victory belongs to him. <laughs> oh, come on and praise God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Victory. Victory belongs to Jesus. Can somebody just say victory is mine? Victory is mine. Victory is mine. 
Remember we used to sing that song, victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. I told Satan to get they behind, because victory today is mine. Can y'all watch me to sing it? Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I try to get me behind. Victory today is mine. Oh, y'all sing it slower, huh? Y'all sing it fast. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And then it says, Happiness is mine. Oh yeah, happiness, happiness is, mine. is mine. Happiness, happiness today is mine. mine. I told Satan, I told Satan, oh, yeah. get the behind. Oh, happiness oh, today. Lord have mercy. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Uh, joy Hallelujah. is mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Joy yeah. is mine. <laughs> Joy today is mine. And remember when they had the scrub board? I don't know if y'all we had a scrub board. I and, say that. Yeah, the camarine had some of the symbols, and then a lot of the symbols was missing. Then they yes. we, we was in we had sawdust on the floor of our church. <laughs> Y'all had the y'all had the wooden you had the wooden floor and the carpet I know but we had sawdust and a pot belly stove. Yeah, <laughs> Lord, you oh, know. Victory is mine. Yeah. Victory, Victory is mine. Is mine. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God. Thank Lord you. have mercy and happiness yeah. and peace and healing and all of that is yeah. mine. Yeah. It belongs. And you know what? We can be personal about it. it's mine. And we don't worry about taking nobody else's. Hallelujah. Oh, it belong to right. me. I don't know about the, I'll take y'all's too if you don't want it. But thank God mm. for um, Psalmist um, Miranda Simpson. I tell you, she is an awesome God, worship God, extraordinaire. God. Amen. 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 And you know, this is so, this is so awesome to be able to just um, be, be able to come tonight on Zoom. And I said, Lord, I wanted to be, it's an intimate setting, you know, where we girlfriends can talk the first night. I mean, the young lady, she told us how God healed her. That was Pastor uh, Nikims out of um, uh, Nigeria, that she went yeah. into the operating room at 21%. Somebody mute yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, and, and, uh, when she went in the operating room, they told her that she needed a blood transfusion. She says, oh, no, I'm not taking nobody else's blood. They said, but you need a blood transfusion or you'll die. She says, oh, no, God's going to take care of me. And she went under that operating um, knife because she was bleeding for six years. Um, make a, uh, um, and she said that um, when she came out and they took her blood, she was at 60%. I said, now, you know, God can do this thing. God is a healer. See, folks, we get all scared and stuff. We better use our faith. We better Amen. believe God. We better trust Amen. God, yeah. knowing that he's able to do abundantly and above all that we can even ask or think. So I just welcome all of y'all, all of y'all. God bless you, Overseer Amen. Linda Steinmetz, all of you to a Godly Woman's View um, conference tonight. And the theme is we are more than purses. We are more than pumps. I can't get my shoes on no more, y'all. I don't wear these heels no more. But anyway, we are more than pumps. And I love these shoes. <laughs> and we are more than pearls. Oh, my goodness. We, we kinda, and I wore these things. These things is heavy. But anything, we're more than this. And sometimes that people look on the outer, outer appearance, how you look and how you sound and what you have and what kind of car you drive and what kind of house you live in. And honey, you could be so messed up on the inside and have all the money in the world. You could be schizophrenic. I call a symbol, got 16 personalities, Jesus, you know? So the thing is, is that, you know, we have to know that if we get the inside right, the outside, it don't matter how, how it looks. I remember they used to say, um, he will beautify the meek with salvation. 
So, so, so thank you, Jesus, for beautifying the meek with salvation. But I'm just, we're just going to go right ahead because we're going to get this speaker um, on her way because I tell you, she's ready, Bishop Kathy Parche um, Pollard. But I just want to let you know a little history about a godly woman's view. A godly woman's view was incorporated in 2012. We are a nonprofit religious organization with our 501c3 um, um, status, making a difference in the world. Also, a godly woman's view has several team members, and I see our um, uh, elder Sandra Hargrove has been with us since we started. God bless. God bless. I love her so much, my BFF. <laughs> a, a godly woman's view fosters mentoring, modeling, and molding a positive image and godlike character in women, young ladies, mature women, so they are encouraged, educated, empowered, and enlightened for personal betterment. A godly woman's view addresses the total woman, spirit, soul, and body through five principal foundations. Prayer. The intercessors are available to pray for your needs so that the will of God prevails. Networking using all available resources, agencies, businesses, ministries, and media. Support, care and advice for encouragement, education, empowerment at the point of need, fellowship and mentoring, wellness, provide health, financial, mental, and social resources for women, entrepreneurship to help start, build, and establish local women-owned businesses, and we have done that to help start and um, have um, entrepreneurs begin their own businesses, and some are just going away from here now. Praise God. A godly woman's view is another level of ministry which reaches the masses and classes of women through on-air radio, TV, talk shows. It has reached thousands of listeners and viewers in 50 states and 196 countries with various topics of interest. And as I said on last night, and that we started on Blog Talk Radio, then on live stream, which we had over 400,000 um, viewers at that time. Now we're on other social media networks, and this is over 800,000 that have listened and viewed our show. Pastor Nita C. Spaulding, the host, have helped countless by giving opportunities to share their life experience, entrepreneur and ministry skills, believing that one day a godly woman's view will be a household soap and a business name. Production has grown over the years on the talk show. Several have co-hosted the show with the host. Also with the donations we received, we have purchased equipment, fed and clothed families, we have paid folks bills, visited the sick, given money to graduates, which is um, June, every June we do that. Um, a godly woman's view motto is we care and we share. So we thank you for your support. And those of you that want to help on tonight, there's, um, you could give by, um, if you wanna give to the uh, speaker or even a godly woman's view, you could send it to my cash app, which is winner, W I N. N N that's three N's E R one two three and that will the monies will go to the speaker I make sure the speakers get um their love gift um or and you could put in the notes that it's for a godly woman's view or for the speaker Pollard whatever you would like to do and I make sure that those particular areas um get the money all right because we're about uh, God's business now listen we're getting ready we I'm ready y'all ready drum roll. Ready for the speaker? Woo! Come on, y'all. Oh, something. I don't hear nothing, y'all. Teach yeah. Ready that... for it. Thank Ready. you. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. praise that. And you know what is good? We need to learn how to smile and laugh anyway. Some people be so 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 mean. If they, they, they smile, they're going to crack their face in two. My God. <laughs> Look like they've been sucking on lemons. But listen, yes, we can is. smile. I'll, I'm a smiler. You'll never know if there's anything going on with me unless I just tell you. Praise yes, God. Right. You yes. know, because I, I keep a smile 
because of just that's just how I am, you know, and I've been doing that because I'm gonna be for the public so much and I'm not trying to get them all upset. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Praise God. You yes. know, so I'm for the people. I'm for all the right. people. <clears throat> I love the right. people. Praise God. Right, Amen. Reverend Ella Johnson. I love the people. Amen. Amen. Uh, Reverend Ella Johnson, she was in our Bible school, Arca Safety School of Ministry, many years ago. And I'm glad yeah. to see her on tonight. But let's yeah. talk about our speaker. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm ready for this. Dr. Kathy Parche Fleming Pollard an ordained minister of the gospel and consecrated to the office of the bishopric under the banner of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, that's P-A-W. She serves as senior pastor lead servant at the Apostolic Outreach Center in Linden, New Jersey. In April of 2017, during the state convocation in a ceremony service held in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, Dr. Pollard was honored in a historical initiative after common consent vote of the New Jersey District Council Executive Board and consecrated to the office of the bishopric by the diocese, the Honorable Bishop Edgar D. Robinson, Jr. It was a trailblazer initiative as Dr. Pollard was one of the first of two women ever elevated to this serious office in New Jersey, 21st Episcopal District of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. She has served as Bishop of Administration, assisting the diocese, the NJDC um, Executive Board and its District Bishop of the Fourth District of the New Jersey DC as well as serving as coordinator of hotel meeting planning management. She's also the regional director of the Seed Churches Agency of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. She is regional director over the states of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Dakota, is that right? Min Min Missouri and Kansas and responsible for the foundation platforms of church planting. Bishop Pollard stands on a solid foundation and comes from a rich heritage of Christian community service, being the eldest daughter of the late Dr. Earl and senior pastor, Dr. Cora L. Parche. Both of her parents were trailblazers on various levels of Christian dome and community service. So as a PK kid, I know about that. For over 63 years, Pastor Pollard has an understanding of the challenges, the sacrifices, as well as the blessings of the ministerial family living in the glass house. Locally, Bishop Pollard has served with several ministers' wives groups, including the New Jersey District Council Minister Wives and Widows Auxiliary for 14 years. Upon Specific divine instruction from the Lord, she was without hesitation, obeyed, declining a third term, uncontested election nomination, not even knowing that at that time, the long term and medical care would be needed for her husband, who suffered a major health challenge. The now sainted professor, Larry Fleming, in addition to the number of years serving uh, she's also over, over the span of 30 years for the international minister's wives. Um, I'm going to jump down some, all right. Uh, Bishop Pollard has attended several institutions of higher learning, including Marquette University, University of Wisconsin Lighthouse, Alpha Bible, and Outreach Bible College, and earning several accreditations. During her years of employment, Dr. Pollard worked in several areas of administration, including an executive to the board of school directors. My God, this woman is just so awesome. And she, due to her ministering heart for underprivileged and at-risk students, she served several years as mentor in the Best Friends Project, which is a, which is a national mentoring system for middle and high school female students because of her invaluable service to the public school's best friend, Dr. Pollard was selected and honored by Cole, 
Colonel Colin Powell, the late Colonel Colin Powell, U.S. Secretary of State and Joint Chief of Staff. Dr. Pollard is a co-founder with her late husband, past Professor Larry Fleming um, Swim, Sanctified Women in Ministry. It was birthed in 2002 out of the questions and needs expressed of a number of women in ministry. Swim addresses the 21st century female clergy woman. Also, she is, uh, she's conducted many, many uh, um, workshops, sexual harassment in the pulpit, unjust compensation, serving in leadership with your husband. So you want an armor bearer, do's and don'ts while traveling in ministry, pulpit protocols, divorced and in ministry. Oh my goodness, this is just awesome. One of her favorite scriptures is this, being confident of this very thing, that he that has done begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us put our hands together and welcome our woman of God on tonight, our Dr. Kathy Pollard. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Let's praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord, woman of God. Thank the Lord. This is the day. You already quoted that as one of my favorite scriptures, too. I often quoted, This is the day <laughs> that the Lord has made. And we listen, we will rejoice. Do, do you not know you have a choice to rejoice? You have a choice to rejoice. And so we we'll thank the Lord because many. Uh, uh, first of all, this is the day is going to be the Lord's day, but that doesn't mean you're going to rejoice. Number two, that doesn't mean we're in it. It's still going to be the Lord's day, but we are in this day. How wonderful is that? Yeah, How wonderful is that on today? So we certainly honor the spirit of the Lord uh, on this evening. And all of you are joining us on today. We're just uh, sincerely humble that you took the time and we've just been blessed Tuesday and Wednesday. I tell you, um, Pastor uh, Gabriel, is it? You know, uh, just a bold and tailored word. We just enjoyed that so much and received so much an encouragement uh, last night by uh, Evangelist Sands. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We just enjoyed that. So we, we, you know, we we got our shout on. We got an encouragement on tonight. We just gonna have a fireside chat. How about that? That's all right. <laughs> Fire, we uh, certainly honor, uh, 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 as I said, the excellence of the Lord on today. We certainly honor. Pastor Anita Spaulding, and just uh, admire her and thank God for her. Uh, my God sister, amen. That's a privilege, amen. <laughs> We're thanking the Lord for that. We're thanking the Lord for that. We followed her for years and she didn't know who I was and I didn't care. I just followed her. Even, even attending uh, a different uh, dinners that she uh, that were being honored her name, she didn't know I was there. I just want to support her. I was, and I saw in her years ago and every now and then we throw, throw a little something, something encouragement in it. Um, yes. a message or whatever that look you we're, the Lord is doing some wonderful things with you so we talked about celebration and it's so important for each of us to celebrate so I'm thanking the Lord for her so uh, cer certainly glad to thank the Lord for uh, her honorable husband Bishop let Richard Spaulding we thank the Lord for him as well they're just together together the power couple they're doing some things <laughs> So we're so thankful for that. We certainly honor my own husband, trustee, Sir Warren Pollard. Yes. As you see the background, I'm in the hospital room. Listen, we don't know where we're going to end up ministry. Wow. We don't know where we're going to end up ministry. <laughs> and so we think, as you can see, you, you see nurses. So, you know, I'm in a hospital room. So that's no secret. <laughs> wow. We're in the hospital room. But uh, we uh, didn't know. But the Lord knew. The Lord knew from the foundation of the world we'd be in this room in ministry, in a hospital. And so that's why I said, this is the day that the Lord has made because we don't necessarily have to be in this. So I'm thankful today. I'm thankful today for each one of you on today. Listen, it's so important. We all are going through different challenges. I don't think anybody on this line is not going through a challenge. If you're not going through a challenge, raise your hand. <laughs> some kind of challenge, some kind of challenge. But I'm thankful, Lord, that we serve a God. We're serving a God, a God, Oh God, hallelujah. We're right. serving a God that can do anything and everything but fail. How we read the scriptures day in and day out, but this is the day and time. You have to have confidence in your time of crisis, whatever your crisis is, whatever your challenge is. You have to have him on your side and he's right there. So I'm going to go quickly uh, to the word of the Lord. 
uh, at this time. And I'm praying so that uh, if you see, listen, it is what it is. If you see a nurse or a doctor walk by as I'm in this room, it is what it is. I'm trying to find That's another right. room, but That's it is what right. it is. So please forgive me if for some of you understand. And, and pray for us. Pray for us. Share what God has given us to share on today. Um, I'm going to go to the Word of God. It's found in First Peter, the second chapter, uh, verses. I'm going to focus on verse nine. Verse nine. Our theme uh, has been focused on we're more than purses, pumps, and earls. And I love them all. I, I enjoy wearing them all. But we're more than that today. And, and uh, we're here this night, this evening in this hospital room to encourage somebody and to strengthen. And if you, some of these things you may hear, you already know, but we're here to, strength, to strengthen each other as women. Amen. Yes, yes, to yes. And, and encourage each other. Word of God says this. It says this, but ye are a chosen mm. generation, mm. a royal priesthood, <laughs> holy nation, <laughs> a particular people peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. I'm going to switch over to St. Matthew, very well-known scripture in the third chapter, correction, the fifth chapter. You've heard this scripture over and over. The word of God says this in the 16th verse, uh, chapter 5, 16, let your light, mm, mm, let your mm, light let so you. shine for men so that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven which is in heaven listen i'm sure all of you have a phone nearby <laughs> i'm sure you all have a phone nearby and, and if i were to ask you just hold up your phone and and, and say look we got a we need to call 911 because we got a crisis yes there is an emergency crisis Ooh, what kind of crisis are you talking about dr fowler i'm talking about i i've been an identity crisis yeah wow 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 an identity crisis say it say it Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, glory in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for bringing us together to sit at heavenly places, Lord God. There's a feast of the Lord that's going on. Lord God, even in this room, we fight every demonic spirit that tries to attack, oh God, the vision that you set forth tonight, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, even as people may come in and out, that they will feel the anointing even in this hospital room. Yes, Lord, oh God, Jesus. do a healing work, Lord God, even as we minister. Do a healing work as only you yes, can Lord, do. Jesus, in the Jesus. name of Jesus, we declare and decree. Thank you, Lord God, for those God. who are listening in today. We'll praise you name in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah yes we have the identity crisis listen when we look at the word identity uh even in the philosophy sense is defined as the sameness of two things in mm. mathematics identity is defined as a function that does not alter its argument or equality that holds regardless of the value of its variables mm. we talk about uh, uh, identity crisis and social definition. A identity is defined as a person's self affiliation or characterization by others. When we talk about identity in business, it relates as it even relates to accounting. is defined as a basic accounting relation that must hold by definition. So when we look at the word crisis itself, it is defined as a stage in a sequence of events at which trend of all future events, especially or for worse, whatever it is, is determined by a turning point. When we look at the word crisis, it's a condition of instability, a condition of instability or mm. range leading to a decisive change. It's considered a dramatic emotional or circumstantial upheaval in a person's life. So how many of us are going through some kind of crisis right now? Some of us are going through some crisis. And listen, I don't have to know your situation, but I know we're all going through something. Yes, Lord <laughs> Jesus. We're all going through something. Thank God for what he's already brought us through. Yes. Even as we're this, uh, this particular day, Thursday, March 20, uh, 2022, we're thankful as we look back. Many of us have lost loved ones, we left, lost friends. But listen, we're in the land of the living. How thankful are we? So that means God still has purpose. God, but I want to deal with a little bit. Like I said, we have a fire to our side chat. Let's talk about identity crisis and who we are. As yes. the word of God 
and reminder what he says in the particular book of Peter, but ye are a chosen yes, generation, yes. a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Sometimes we have to remind each other, what does the word of God say? Mm -hmm. You yes. can say, and I can say, but what does the word Hallelujah. of God say word about say? who we are? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh God, oh God, help us, Jesus. That's so all right. Help us, good help word, good word. Who, who are we? Who am I? Lord who Jesus. are we? I'm determined to get this word out tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, it's Everybody good. Else. It's good. This is where I ended up, and this is where I'm going to minister today. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we right. find many today. Uh, one day they're in and one day they're out. We, like I said, we're facing identity crisis, uh, young uh, uh, people, women of God. We're facing identity crisis. Everybody's not, but I just want to talk about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about it. And, then, and as the Bible says, be holy as I am holy. That's a beautiful thing about the Holy Ghost. When the sure enough Holy Ghost has, uh, is found in you, it will give you power to overcome whatever, whatever, to know that we are special. Yes, yes. So here's the thing in this day and time, these last days, one of the things that enemy, his bait, his bait, his bait is discouragement and depression. Yes, it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Discouragement and depression. He will lose anything. He will use the crisis we're coming, we're going through right now, whatever the situation, discouragement and depression. But again, I remind about who the Lord says we are, that we can focus on what the word of God says about who we are. I don't know yes, about you, yes. but this gives me encouragement. Yes. This yes. gives me enlightenment. So in this world of bling, bling and, and, and puff, puff and stuff and stuff, it's important to know what is real and what's not real. Right, right, right. She talked about the beautiful purses and the pearls and the and 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 the and the, and the, and the uh, shoes, the beautiful shoes. Listen, the pumps. These days, you'll know what's real unless you really look at it closely. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that's true. Seeing people <laughs> carrying a beautiful designer purse. Oh, that's a sharp purse. And then, well, you know, this is the knockoff. They don't have to tell you that, but this is the knockoff. It's okay. It's okay. But you're more than that. We are more than that. More than a knockoff. Listen, so it's important for us to know what is real and what's not. We face a world that's filled with camouflage and generic brands and cubic zirconium fake diamonds, y'all, in case you didn't know what that is. <laughs> we live in a world where one word does not mean much anymore. People will look you in the eye and make a promise knowing they don't mean what they say. Wow. They have no intention. Wow. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't have to go through that, but I'll have to speak for myself. They have no intention and fulfilling the promises and the words are not real. We even have a former president still trying to make, uh, promote himself and say, well, he won, he won, he won. And throw, he's still <laughs> saying that. Lord Jesus. He's, off the, he's off the scene, but he's still saying he's off that. The chain. So we, we live in a world that's full of people who are lost. We live in a world where many believe that they simply don't fit in. Now mm -hmm. she mentioned earlier about what is your weakness and what is your strength. That's one of my, I love to encourage, as I said, even the underdog, when people want to keep people to the curve, I said, no, 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 God's got a purpose for them. We may not see, but God's got a purpose. He has a purpose for them. He has destiny for them. Mm. Amen. Amen. So we live in a time of both, really, sadly, sometimes in the body of Christ, but some of us are experiencing our serious identity crisis. Wow, don't know who what does that mean? Know. In other words, they, they don't seem to know who they are. Oh, mm -hmm. They don't seem to know how who they are. And many that knew who they are, somehow along the way, they have lost their identity. And we are here to encourage love, love. Somebody said, what's love got to do with it? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. We think of how God loves us. So many don't know who they are. We're here to this evening to send the word out. That probably maybe no one on this platform tonight have that issue, but someone does. And perhaps you can go out even after tonight and encourage someone. There has never been a time in my 70 plus years of living have I heard the word Christian used so much. You had, even have basketball players. I'm a Christian. You hear Hollywood actors. I'm a Christian. It may may not be true. That's not that's not my decision. However, it seems like everybody is calling themselves a Christian. But the sad commentary is many proclaiming to be believers to be Christian are not really plugged into the power source. Wow! Wow! That's the truth. Lord Jesus. My God! My God! I told awesome. you it's gonna. 
we shout it and we enjoy it, but this is a different kind of word tonight. Hallelujah. It's a good word. Good word. We need it's a this. different this kind word. of word tonight. Yes. Is that yes. we're to be fruits. If we're to be believers, we say we're Christians. And I say more than ever, we ought, we ought to be living like Jesus coming back in the next 10 minutes. Woof, Lord Jesus. Wow. Yeah, everything. And if we and if we are believers bearing the fruit of believers bearing the fruit of righteousness so consequently many are struggling every day with this concept of being one day in and super spiritual one day and one day they're not listen listen we're more than pearls we're more than persons yes, we're beyond Lord that Jesus. we're beyond mm. that who we believe we are many people have been led into believe that once you are saved that once you accept the lord jesus christ as your personal savior you've been baptized take on his name. There's nothing less to do but sit back and enjoy. Wrong. Mm, Jesus. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Many people believe that once you're saved, you don't, you don't have to worry about pain. Look where I am right now. In the hospital. Lord no Jesus. more heartache. No more rough times. In other words, some people believe that they're immune to trials and tribulation. One of the scriptures I'm holding on to more than ever that, that scripture in James is by the trying of our faith that produces the perseverance of our faith produces patience. And count it all yeah, joy. Right, Bishop, all yeah. Count it right. all yes, joy. Lord. Count it. So what is our belief system? As I said, that's a bait from Satan, from hell himself, uh, to use discouragement and, and depression. I've never heard more than ever the time that we hear uh, the word suicide used, the spirit of suicide. We come against that in the, yes, name, of in the name of Jesus. That divine spirit of suicide. Jesus. You got to know who. So many have been on the belief that they, they, they're a product of them old selves. In other words, they are because of what they did, all because of their own power. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You're more than that. That's the situation now. We're looking at identity crisis. Many don't know. People don't know who they are. Yes. If I can get a, a Louis Vuitton purse, well, I, I got it made. Wrong. <laughs> no, you're, you got to know your value. Yes, Lord. I shared share recently, and I'll, I'll, I'll share briefly. I went into a uh, shoe shop, and while I was waiting for the man to wait on me, uh, he was waiting on some other customers. And so, I, as I was standing, I was looking around. I've shared this before. Somebody may not have heard this, but I want to share it with you tonight. Just came back to me. And up on the top shelf, I saw a purse. Uh, well, it was a, a travel bag, Louis Vuitton travel bag. And I looked up there. I said, yeah, right. The real thing, I don't think so. <laughs> but I said, it's nice and large and as much traveling as I was doing one time and, and the airlines can mess up your luggage so bad. I said, uh, it would hurt to have something that size. Okay. So I asked the man, I said, when he finished, I said, what? How much is that bag up there? He pulled it down. Um, it, 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 about 25. He said, I'll, I'll, 25. I said, I'll, get, I'll, I'll buy it to you for 15. He said, so so when I went home, <laughs> I did my research. Guess what? That was a real Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, all right. That was a real thing. Just because he didn't know the value of it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he didn't know the value of it. That's and I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know the value of it. <laughs> the, true, the true identity. Whoa. When I took it home and did my research, that bag was right. well over two thousand some dollars, dollars. Wow! You have to know your worth. And when I began to investigate, I saw just because he didn't understand the value. Listen, people will try to kick you to the curb. All that, and all that is important. You, you, you know, you ain't got it like that. Don't, 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 don't go by. What does the word of God say about you? Yes, who you Lord are, Jesus. They may not know your value, but oh, God, does. God, thank you, Jesus, for well, how word. important it is for you to know your best. Who we say we are is how what God says who we are. We must say who God says we are. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Christ Himself. He said, again, and I read that scripture, ye are the life of the world. In spite of who the world thinks you are, who you believe you are, or who you're going to know. Listen, you have to know what the Lord said. You are the life of the world. And I'm thankful, yes. 
scripture that comes to me in Philippians 1 and 6, being confident in the one thing that he was begun a good work. And you were performing to the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And mm -hmm. guess what? That is start, that is start when you were born. God knew before the foundation of the world what he was going to put in you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. We Jesus. can focus on what the word of God says about us mm -hmm. and who we know. And, and though I may not always un understand the, the concept of an identity. I know who I am based on with the word of God. We are chosen generation. Yes. Selected, y'all. Selected, elected, and preferred. Mm. <laughs> I'm you put your hand. I'm preferred. I'm preferred. I'm preferred. I, I'm majestic. I'm I am legal. I am I'm legal. part of God's holy nation. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mm, that's put powerful. It in Put it in the atmosphere so the devil can hear you say what God says you are. Yes, I am Lord. Possession. Thank you, Jesus. I'm God's very own possession. I am an elect lady. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I am a good word. I'm an example of courage. I'm an example of determination. I'm a child of the kingdom. Wow. And listen, let me say this. Don't be discouraged when people try to bring up your past, what it was years ago. Don't, don't be discouraged about that. When they say, ladies, when the Lord is using you and blessing you, Lord people Jesus. have a tell. Yeah, honey, I remember when. <laughs> They're always like that. I remember. I remember when. Anybody ever had someone? Yeah, I remember when. I remember when. <laughs> and you know what? Can I be transparent? Yes. Years ago, I would get offended by that. But you know, God has given me some victory. I said, you know what? Please remember. Please remember. <laughs> you ought to know that what you ought to see that's God's doing I don't know how she did I don't know what I can see God and she's a change in the thing you ought to be glad when they bring up things wow that's all right we go to be glad you ought to be glad when they bring it up <laughs> thank you Jesus hallelujah <laughs> you can say look what God has it's done, done. Mm -mm -mm. Look what God has. And yes, I'm getting excited. Somebody reminded me, you in the hospital. That's what I am. And maybe someone hearing this will be touched by the word of God tonight. Yes, Lord, it. Jesus. Maybe they will be converted. Maybe they'll hear the scripture read. Maybe it will strengthen them. Maybe it will strengthen them and help them. Hallelujah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, this is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we have to remind ourselves with the word of God. I'm just here to stop by to remind ourselves what he said. It's and being good. an overcomer. Listen, we are overcomers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we are overcomers. Can you say that? I'm an overcomer. I'm overcomer. Overcomer. I'm an overcomer. overcomer. I'm so many words of God, the scripture tells us when we are, and we, listen, when, you, and, and when you're in the process of overcoming, you are conquering something. Yes, yes. You're getting around something. You're mastering something. You're overbearing. You're beating something. You're overmatched. You're That's prevailing so something. You're stopping something where there's a bad habit or attitude. Hello. Hallelujah. <laughs> You are subduing some things. You're yes. surmounted. You're taking control. You're trimming something. You're gaining over the adversary. You are in the state of winning against the enemy. Yes, yes, yes. You are surpassing. You are succeeding. You are exceeding. You are excelling. Wow. Some things. Mm -mm. And so I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged today I'm to know that courage. the word of God tells us that we are overcoming. I can be overcoming. Why? Because I believe what God says about who I am and striving to be a doer of his will. We can begin to walk. Mm, mm. So many people that come through the doors of the sanctuary when they first come in, they're wobbling, falling all over. But as they begin to adhere to the word of God <laughs> yes, and Lord, the spirit Jesus. of God, they yes. begin to straighten up. And we're here to help them yeah. straight up according to the word of God. And so we, but tonight we're, but listen, we are overcomers today. We don't have, we should have an identity crisis. No, no. Not who I say I may be or who you say, but what is the word of God? I can repeat what he says I am. Wow. wow. In the yes. word yes. of God. So when the evil one comes to put seeds of doubt in your mind, you tell him, I am who God says I am. <laughs> yes, Lord. That's what the record book says. 
Yes, yes. When you got up, regardless of what you, when you got up, the devil said, oh man, man she got up. Got up. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Got up. Yes, Thank I got up. Why? Yes, because I'm, I'm overcoming. I am the salt of the earth. That we're to be sought to make a difference in a rock. Listen, beautiful woman of God, women of God, plural. We're to be the salt of the earth, to make a difference wherever you are, wherever you are. I am the light of the world. I just read that script, shining in the darkness that's trying to creep oh, in. Jesus, yes. Shining the darkness. I am an overcomer. I am a child of mm, God. Mm, God mm. once well tells us God created me and gave me life. He yes, formed me Lord, in the Jesus. womb. I am precious. I am valued. God's love is in me. Mm, mm. I am an overcomer, God's word says. I am part of the true vine. <laughs> Wow. A channel of God's love. Speak over your life. Yes, Lord. As we continue to grow, we will produce his fruit. Listen, precious one. I, I quickly, I, I, a thought just came to me. You know, in the book of Daniel, when the three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fiery furnace. Y'all remember that story? Yes. And the fire did not consume them. You all remember that part of the story. And when they came out, on the mm. fire, people <laughs> were amazed. It is. Why? Because the word of God says their fire, the bodies wasn't consumed. The bodies of fire had no power, nor was the hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed. And here's the part I like. Nor the smell of the fire had passed on them. Mm. Mm. As an overcomer, as an overcomer, as an overcomer. I've heard people say, you know, I don't look like what I've been, I've been through. That, that's true. But I have another question. Do you smell like what you've been through? <laughs> Lord Jesus, I don't smell like it either. <laughs> Do you smell, is there odor of jealousy? Is there odor Ooh, of dissent? Is God. there odor of unforgiveness? Wow, wow, wow. Just think about that for a second. And I'm, I'm trying to close it. I'm trying to bring it down. It's good. It's good. What do you smell like? Yeah, I know you look good. Yeah, you got your pearls and your pumps and your and your purse. <laughs> You're looking good. That nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But what do you smell like after the fire? After the trial? Like, Lord, what Jesus. do you smell like? Is there a oh, is there a fragrance of the, mm. of the spirit, love, joy, say it, meaning, say it, say it, long suffering, kindness? Is that what we do? We do we have that? Fragrance? Mm. Are you still hanging mm. on to the past? Unforgiveness. That's the book right there. Yes, Lord Jesus. Precious ones, I just stopped by. That's all. I just stopped by in the hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, is the house remind us of who we are. We're to bear his fruit. As I said, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, faithfulness. We God has given us the power to stick and stay. Mm, the power to stick and stay. I like that. Regardless of the circumstances, the stick and stay. He's given us gentleness and meekness. I'm talking and self-control. Oh God. And the word of God and I say the fruits of the spirit. And he just that that's not plural. He said the fruit of the spirit will, be, will produce the seeds of all of these characteristics. Yes, I am an overcomer. What about you? Yes, <laughs> yes. And I found out a long time ago, I, I, and I, I'm just confessing right now, I, I can't hang around people are always talking about what we can't do. Oh, God, you know, no. Always talking about what the challenge. Yeah, I see the challenge too. I see it, I see it. But we are overcoming. We're encouraging each other tonight, Hallelujah. women of God, every one of you. Amen. We're here to encourage. And I love the sisterhood. I love the sister. I love the body of Christ. Every one of us are important. Every member of the body is important. But as I close, I love the sisterhood because I've seen so many, uh, including my own self, how God has brought us out of darkness into the marvelous light to show forth his glory. Mm, mm, every mm, time mm. and i say it off and i'll sit again we need to have more of a see if you when you have more of a god conscious of being overcomer you're gonna watch what you say you're gonna watch wow. what you, 
mm-hmm. having a God consciousness, having more of a God consciousness. Say it, say it, say it. What's yes. coming out of your mouth? How you how mm-hmm. you present yourself? And I'm not just talking about pearls, pumps, or, or purses either. Because <laughs> we're yeah. more than that. We're more. We're conquerors. Yeah. We're more than conquerors. We're more than that. I am a member of Christ's body. I am a new creature. I am reconciled to God. Mm. I am chosen of God, holy and dearly loved. My God, my God. So That's if you're good. ever going to be an overcomer, and we got overcomers on here, you need to hear and need to say, I can do all things through Christ. I I, I, yes, it's difficult Christ. right now. We're going through a situation right now, but I can do all things through yes, Christ. Boy. Who strengthens me. Amen. Let, yes, let me hear you say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say so, say so. I'm strengthened. Ooh, hallelujah. Mm. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. That's the word of God, y'all. <laughs> That's a word of God. So we Powerful. thank the Lord for stopping by. Just remind us that we are royalty. Mm. Our royalties. Hallelujah. And we have to remember who we are. We can't just say everything and do everything. And that's mm-hmm. hate all, everybody necessarily. I'm not talking about uh, uh, dissing people. That's not what I'm talking about. But we have to rec- remind of ourselves daily. I am a child of God. I am set aside. I am a royal priesthood. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. Wherever Thank we go. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm more and more, as I become more and more God conscious, Lord, wherever I go, Lord, use me. In the whether it's in the in the in the grocery store, driving, Lord, use me. Use me to represent you. Yes, Lord, use me to represent you. To represent you. Yes. Again, being confident of this very thing that he has with the con a good work in you. Thank you Jesus. I can look at I can look at Pastor Spalding, all she did, love it. I can look at all the other ones on this and enjoy the work. That Lord used you, but He's got something for every one of us. It's yes. enough to do because why? Yeah. It's the it's uh, we are overcomers. There's so much to do, and even as we're doing, we encourage others to do and celebrate. We let's just celebrate each other. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Praise God! It's doing. Hallelujah! Celebrate! Yes. Yes, Lord. Also, every one of you are important to the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. Amen. So we thank the Lord for every one of you that tuned in. I got some more to say, but I'm going to stop. <laughs> it's uh, good. God, God, God bless you. Beautiful. God bless. Amen. Let's Hallelujah. put our hands. We have an identity crisis. <laughs> yes. Put our hands together for Bishop Hallelujah. Kathy Collard. I'm telling thank you, God. what a word, what Hallelujah. a word. Yes. She really spoke to our hearts. Hallelujah. And, God bless you know, um, and she's going through a situation now. And but here, this didn't stop her. The hospital. No, it did not. God her bless husband you. is there, but she says, "I'm going to complete this assignment." God you know, because I said to her, I said, "Well, you know, let me know what you're going to do." She didn't even mention it. She just said, "Here's my bio," um, and that was it. She's, just, but that's how I am. I forget about myself and what I'm going through because I know that there is something that God wants me to do. He wants me to minister to others and I don't want anybody to be stopped from getting their blessing. But there are those with identity crisis. They don't know who, she don't know who she is trying to be somebody else. You can't fit into nobody else's pumps. You can't carry nobody else's purse. And you can't wear nobody else's pearls. Only one person will wear these pearls at a time. So let me tell you something. You got to know who you are according to the word of God and confess over your life that I am the head and not the tail. I'm first. I'm not last. I'm the, I am. Oh, my goodness. We got to speak. And when you speak over your life, speak life to your life instead of speaking death to your life. Speak life, not speak death. Because we are somebody. And you got to say that constantly. I am somebody. Every day now I'm saying I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. God, you said it. You said in your word. And the scripture tells us to plead our case. We could bring him back into remembrance of his word. That's what it says. Lord, you said. Lord, you said I am the beloved. You said that I, you were wounded from our transgressions, bruised from our iniquities, and the chastisement of our pieces of power. And with your stripes I am healed. You said that I can do all things through Christ. You said. 
And we got to know who we are. It's not, you know, the makeup, it's not the frills and all of that, but it's what's on the inside. And we have to make sure the inside is cleaned up, you know, and know that Jesus, he died for us to make us somebody. Even when she was talking, thank God for her. I thought about that woman with the issue of blood. She was going through 12 long years, going from doctor to doctor. Oh. She's going around her family. They didn't want to be bothered with her because she smelt. They, they, her friends didn't want to be bothered with her. And you know no man ain't want to marry her. So here she was going through all of that. So that could cause you to have identity crisis and saying, my goodness, nobody don't want to be bothered with me. And as she was saying, and you become depressed and you become despondent and you become discouraged because I'm quite sure many of you become have been discouraged with ministry, discouraged with family, discouraged with um, your job, discouraged with your community, discouraged. But this is the time she, she has spoken into our life that we could be lifted up where we belong and let God really arise. And then all those enemies be scattered. We are somebody. You got to say that to yourself. You know, in this here general assembly, in this here conference, yes, we can say it together. But when you when you home in that dark room, when those lights are off. When you don't feel, when nobody's around, when you're not getting mm -hmm. no phone calls, can you still say, I identify with Christ? I identify, I am crucified. Nevertheless, I live. Hallelujah. Why am I living? Because the Son of God is living in me. Hallelujah. Oh man, this that that was a, a powerful word. I don't know about y'all, but I just enjoyed it. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Amen. She put a cash app up, but if you desire to um, uh, uh, give her uh, an offering because we want to bless our servants, um, it's Pastor Kathy one, or you could send it to me, which is winner three ends ER one, two, three, and you could put in the notes that is for the speaker or for a uh, godly woman's view of God, a G W V or you want to give something to both because we're about a good work. I said, Lord, I don't, I said, I don't have the money to give to these speakers. I said, if I said that I could go in my pocketbook, I'd be like this. I said, but the Lord has been providing <laughs> for these, these nights people have been giving and I've given it to the speakers, praise God. And to the psalmist, I've given it to them because listen, I, I'm not taking it for myself, but I want them to be blessed because I'm so blessed by the word of God and that they took time out of their busy schedule to be with us, Evangelist Sands and Pastor um, Gabriella. She came on at 12 o'clock midnight over in Nigeria and here we was up wide open, that girl preached. And then Bishop um, Kathy Pop, she preached. These women of God, and I said, I noticed I had a pastor, evangelist and a bishop. That was that's awesome, you know, the way the Lord led me. So um, the, um, we this offering time, praise God. I know we were used to going and walking around, and but all you got to do is take and cash app it. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Put it in the cash app. It's W-I-N-N-N-E-R-123, or you can cash app her directly if you want to do that. We're still going to send her what we get. Um, um, is Pat is dollar sign Kathy? I forgot what did what did it say? Pastor Kathy one. Okay, Pastor Kathy one. Pastor Kathy one. Okay, you see that everybody? So you can cash at her directly. All right. Um, and we thank you so much for just coming on and being a part. Psalmist Miranda Simpson, you did your thing. These three nights, she did not count it robbery to come on and to bless us and to minister, give back to God her gift that God has given her. So we're going to ask her to sing for us. Is that all right? Give us a song. Give us something upbeat so we we could just um, um just relax and max in this. And listen, yeah. we are more than pearls. We are more than purses. And we are more than pumps. Hallelujah. We are what God says we are we can do what God says we can do in Jesus name and then we're gonna go ahead hallelujah glory to God
you pastor muddy god bless you pastor victoria my other god sister overseer linda steinmax god bless you oh yes open the eyes of the blind yes oh no one's like us yes lord oh yes into the darkness you shine Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing it. Yes. Y'all can unmute if you want and clap. Sing. Overseer Douglas, God bless you. Oh, there's no one like oh, my friends, God bless y'all. Judith Edwards, God bless. Evangelist Levy. Bishop Elect Storm, we've been on it the whole time. <laughs> Anitra, servant of God. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, Cynthia. Oh, this is awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is yes. for us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is with us, then who could ever stop us? Oh, then let us stand against. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sing it. Yes. Yes. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, bless your name, God. Thank you, Lord God. God. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Hallelujah. He's greater and greater is he that's in us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Greater, my God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. So powerful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Lord, he's a great God. Oh, my God. Our um, um, evangelist sends, just unmute yourself. Listen, we want you to dismiss us. You know, you can have the last words. This was our other speaker last night. She was so powerful. God bless you, Pastor Victoria. God bless you. I'm glad to see you on tonight. All of you, thank you so much for joining in on the Godly Woman's View Conference. It really was, is very successful. Thank God. Look for it on YouTube. I'll probably just put the link on Facebook so people could just go to the link and go right on over. And it's going to be on um, Instagram and also Twitter and LinkedIn. All right. So we're going to have them on those uh, different um, uh, social networks and because I, people can hear it now. But we thank God because I'm telling you, y'all are so special to me. Yes, you are. And I love y'all. And if you're having anything, please let me know. If I can definitely put it on my schedule to come or to or to be a part of it, I will. Now, if you're going to fly me over to um, the Bermuda, you can, and I'll come. <laughs> or to get to play my um, cruise ticket or whatever they say, give me a ticket on a cruise. <laughs> but I'll be there. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's good to laugh, right? Hallelujah. God bless you. Um, God bless you, evangelist um, Melissa Sands. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, the scripture says, did not our hearts burn while you talk with us along the way. So thank God for you, Bishop, on tonight, uh, the woman of God that brought forth the word of God. And when I looked at she didn't let the circumstance or where she was, but the word still was able to flow. And that just shows you the power of God, no matter where we are, mountaintop, <laughs> hospital room yes. side street behind the pulpit the word you know it just still reaches and does what it has to do he said he sends his word and it will not return to yes, his voice yes, we thank yes. god for the word and to you pastor anita spalding god yes. bless you he said this is your first uh virtual conference and it has yes. been great wonderful and everything has just gone forth and it's been a joy to be with all of the precious uh, women of God. And if there's some men, you know, you said, Pastor uh, uh, Overseer Spalding, we oh, yes, give respect unto him tonight too. Amen. The man yes. of God and all that have joined, uh, have enjoyed it. I wish the first night, but I was on mission. So the Lord knows, you know, but mm -hmm. I was able to be on last night, of course, to be the speaker, but then tonight yes. to be able to receive. And I just thank God for that. So, you know what, all we can do is just take it in the word has been encouraging and the uh, theme alone to let us know you're more than that purse, you're more than the pumps and you're more than the pearls, but God, <laughs> he, you know what? He cherishes us. Yes, Lord us Jesus. Precious in his Hallelujah. sight. And so each person, as she said, we shouldn't be walking around worrying about our identity when we know whose we are and you know who we That's belong right. to. That's right. That we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and he did not make each of us the same that that's what makes the world up we're all different we're all unique but we're all one in christ jesus so i thank god uh for this opportunity just to have the words on tonight and thank you yes. again for in my invitation to be one of your speakers and all yes. of the women of god amen. just be encouraged in the lord amen god has so much for his women of God to do. And he knows that women will get down there and wail in the prayer. And that's why he said, call for the <laughs> yeah. wailing women. I mean, yes. Push aside the men. The men have their duty, but he knows that those women, you know, that's just, that's the nature of us. You know, where a, a father would look at, you know, something and say, oh, it'll be all right. A mother is going to go in that closet <laughs> and make sure it's going to be all right. But uh, we thank God for the women of God on tonight. So God be with you and God bless you and uh, for a beautiful and a successful. And most of all, you know what an encouraging conference on this week. God be with you. Amen.
Yes, yes. All right, dismiss us. Okay. All right. Well, Father, in the mighty and the adorable name of Jesus, oh God, tonight we just want to say thank you. We thank you for meeting us, oh God, on this virtual conference, Lord. We may not have been able to touch one another, but we were certainly here and you were in the midst, God. We felt your spirit and we know that you were with us, God. You said any two or three touching and agreeing, you would be in the midst. We touched and we agreed in the spirit and you have been in the midst. Father, we thank you for every word that has has been shared oh god every song that went forth every praise that was uttered on, yes, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, on this Jesus. week oh god that you get the glory out yes, of it Lord, all father Jesus. we thank you that we are more than what our uh, valuables are but we are valuable in your sight tonight god we are someone in you because of christ jesus yes, and Lord, we thank Jesus. you father for your mercy oh god yes, and even jesus. on tonight we ask you to bless pastor anita small and bless yes, her Lord, husband jesus. as they go forth throughout the world oh god just spread in the gospel oh god to men and women boys and girls oh god each one that's on here whatever assignment that you have given them bless them oh god bless each one in their respective places yes, father yes. and tonight oh god we ask you to go into that hospital room where the pastor oh god that has brought forth the word of god on tonight oh god touch her husband oh god whatever the circumstances yes, is we know that healing yes, is in you wings you yes, you in your word and you Jesus. heal them, Father. By their, your stripes, yes, we Lord are healed Jesus. tonight, God. We ask you to do complete Holy healing. Jesus. Oh, God, not a patch-up job, oh, God, but complete healing. And we believe you, Father. Mm. We just thank you for Jesus. your mercy. Oh, God, give her the strength that she endures, oh, God, as she stands by her husband's side, God. Continue to be with them in the ministry. Be with them in the home, oh, God, whatever it may be. Bless each one that's on this call. We give you praise. We give you glory for this conference. Oh, God, that whatever we do, whatever we say, Father, that it'll be pleasing in your sight. We believe that you have been pleased. You, had, you are well with this, oh, God, and we thank you for it. We ask you to just continue to be with us, Lord. Continue to help us to let our light shine. Oh, God, as we are daughters of you, Father, daughters of the King, we will give you praise. We will give you glory as we leave these lines, God, but we don't leave your presence. We thank you for it now in the mighty and the adorable name of Jesus. Let every heart just say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And this song said, the, uh, what is it? Uh, God has spoken. <laughs> Let the church say, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Listen, Thomas Miranda. Amen. Hallelujah. Thomas Miranda. Uh, put if anyone would like to be a blessing, you could send it to her. Zell, her phone number is there 973. Okay, don't let me look in the okay. yeah, look in the chat, it's in the chat 289 Not everybody has Zell, so you can send it to a cash app dollar sign the psalmist 72. Okay, dollar sign the psalmist 72. She okay. said it's an honor to serve, and we really enjoyed you immensely. Yes. Beautiful. Again, that's the Psalmist 72. All right. Is she going to close with that song? <laughs> you want to sing it? She wants you to sing it. <laughs> God has <is> spoken. <laughs> God has spoken. Oh. oh, you mean let the church say amen? Yes, let the oh, church. Oh, okay. All right. Can you sing that one? She said she might be shut down for the night. <laughs> no, she all right. She good. Yeah. But she'll get yeah. off and go right on Facebook and start singing. Yeah. <laughs> She's beautiful. She is. She's muted. Uh-oh. I'm getting her to unmute. Girl, unmute. Yeah. Unmute. Unmute. Yeah, she uh, she, she's not. Oh, she's in. Oh, my. Psalmist, unmute. unmute. Yeah. I'm mute. Okay, okay there I'm you so go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. God has Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, let the church say, baby, let the church. 
Thank you. And good night, everyone. Love you. Glory to God. Love Blessings you. Good night. Everyone. Good Shalom. night. Amen. God bless. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Beautiful. God you. bless you. That was good. Amen. Good night. Good night. God bless everyone. Good night.